Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A huge shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. If you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member to support the channel or even play with me on my server, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simonis that I Darkest Fools mod. So, I am actually recording this episode on Thursday night. It's almost actually 8 p.m. over here. And this episode will release 2 a.m. on Saturday. Now, I just made a post. We are as of making this episode, are 31 subs away from 2k, and that's awesome, guys. I really want to thank you guys for your support. It really does mean a lot. And I really want to thank all of you guys for commenting on my videos, giving feedback, and it really does help the channel. Um, you know, I'm, I have this pause because there's a ton of gunfire up top. As you guys know, I wanted this episode to be the Horde episode, but like I said, this is going to release 2 a.m. on Saturday. Hopefully, between uh, tonight and saturday i reached the, uh, that 2k mark so the next horde episode will be the giveaway where i actually do the giveaway draw the lot of the names and stuff and then how it's going to work for those of you that haven't been here for a giveaway yet, because i've done a giveaway in the past basically um all you have to do is remember you have to be subscribed and comment seven days live before i reach 2k subs as soon as i reach 2k guys i'm going to go through all the comments see you comment seven days that i write those names down and those are the only entrants um, but remember, you still will have a chance for the 3k, 4k, 5k, 6k sub giveaways. Um, I actually intend to have quite a few of those giveaways. But yeah, hopefully in between here and then, um, that, uh, that will happen. We reach 2k. And the next episode should be the giveaway, hopefully. Uh, if my planning goes correctly. If not, I'm one or two short. That's gonna suck. But yeah, we are in the wasteland. As you guys know, I wanted to start the horde, but I mind quite a bit. And yeah, it's just getting boring right now. So I want to go back up. As you guys see, there's a ton of gunfire upstairs. And this is what we have over here. So as you guys can see, I brought all my cash over, but we also mined a ton. I have a whole row of titanium and then almost a half a row of titanium more. I wanted to fill two rows or the whole inventory, which might have been possible if I went all the way until day 84. But like I said, it's just getting tedious. I actually repaired my, my titanium pick once already because the whole quality broke. That's how long I've been mining over here. You'll see now, I'm going to run through the mine. I'm just telling you guys this because of all the gunfire. I'm running, I'm going to run through the mine now and show you guys exactly what I mined out, and it's insane. So over here, we mined a ton of plutonium and uranium as well. And let's look at this. This thing's deep. All the way to the top, we've mined out all the titanium. We've barely actually touched the, I think this is uranium, that's plutonium. We barely touched these, except for the few times we actually went and got those. I have two stacks of plutonium, two stacks of uranium, and then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... Oh, yeah, I have over uh, two, uh, one and a half rows. I have 18 stacks and a little bit of titanium of here. So hopefully this will be enough to really get started. Let me just quickly go help those guards up at the top because they are trying to kill some demonic zombies. And at the moment, they can't. Remember, the zombies heal too fast. You need to be careful because I actually, during the night, killed a Saku, oh, no, Incubus Demon. There's actually quite a few that actually spawn like this. Where do I get out again? I always get lost in this place. There you go. Okay, so we're just going to kill the uh, zombies out here so it doesn't make too much noise in anymore. And then we're going to keep on going from there. Stop crouching, John. Thank you. We have to be careful because every now and then there's zombies in here as well. They really do get in all the way. What the hell are you? Oh, there you go. See how fast they actually drop the HP. As soon as I hit them once with a laser tech, did you see how fast the HP drops from the soldiers? From these guards? So the guards really do make a difference. It's just that the zombies heal themselves so fast, it, it really doesn't it doesn't help much at all. Yeah, also, I put two titanium blocks over here because zombies were, uh, kept breaking and killing the Katon trade over here. So hopefully, they can still break through. Yeah, I need to be very, very fast with this. So we're going to lock the first 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... Uh, 22 slots. The first 22 slots we're going to lock. Okay. And then we can actually sort our inventory over here. I just, I brought two forged uh, titanium fragments with. Remember guys, you need one forged titanium block to be able to repair your tools now. Um, okay. So we have quite a bit of titanium, plutonium, cash over here. I want to see Great if the job. Caitlins... Oh, also I did all these quests on the way here. All those zombie kill quests. Uh, because you barely get any XP anyways. Okay, so, please tell me you have scientist mastery. 
That's literally the only book we still need. And then we're set. I don't think she's going to have it. I wonder if I should go to the other one first. Just see if she has it. Um, if not, then we're going to come back. where We might actually just buy another laser workbench and stuff like that. We do have Grandpa's Awesome Sources. But if I'm not mistaken, you have to drink them in succession. You can't drink them when run, run, one runs out. Uh, because then you'll only have like a good drink effect. So it's not the same. Blade traps, unfortunately. She should actually sell titanium blade traps. Because she's in this biome. It just makes sense, right? But yeah, as you guys can see, there's no... Well, there's a ton of resources. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to buy these. But first we have to go to the other Caitlyn trader and just see if she perhaps has the master book. We literally only need the scientist one and then we're done. As soon as we have the scientist master, we have all this stuff and we can go for completionist. Um, so we're going to go to the left of here. Also, we do have skill points. Eight of them. I am level 151 because of all the mining. And we're going to go for this one over here. Um, technology. Now, now it means we'll be able to make our own laser pistols and... The laser will actually travel through one zombie and hit another. So it has the penetration effect. There's a zombie over here somewhere. I'm just going to skip away all the driving guys because that's too boring. And then I'll catch you guys back when we hit the other well, when we reach the other trader. But yeah, let's just hope she really has that master book because we need it. As soon as we have that, we can go for completionist. And also, a few of you have actually said you don't know why I want to build in the wasteland. It's just a waste of resources. But guys, do you know how hectic just normal nights get? It's going to add so much more... It's going to add another layer of difficulty, basically. At the moment, the zombies in our biome only come for us really at uh, horde nights. But in this biome, every night is basically a horde night. With radiators and demons and stuff just spawning in all over. I should really, when I see loot bags like that, just stop and loot. Just now, that is actually the chassis we're looking... No, the accessories. We already have two gyrocopter accessories... Uh, 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 Two gyrocopter chassis. We just need the accessories and we'll be able to fly here. Hello, behemoth. Okay, see so you guys at the other trader. Damn, guys. The amount of badassery just walking around in the middle of everywhere is insane. Most of these zombies are feral or nightmare speed. Yeah, feral or nightmare speed. And then also, yeah, we just have to be very, very careful right now. It could be behemoths around the corner. It could be behemoths in here. So that's what's going to make this so much fun. The, the fact that there's boss zombies all over. Just everywhere you look. Okay, now let's just first see. What do you have for us? A ton of rockets. I might just actually buy the rockets without using scavenger we already have. Damn it. Wait, you have a fusion forge over here. It's a shame you don't have the bench because then I can actually buy that as well. We don't need another fusion forge. I wonder if I shouldn't just buy from her. What do you have? Gunpowder, concrete mix... You do have quite a bit of concrete mix, so technically I could just buy from her. If I make it back to the other trader with the Grandpa's Awesome Sizzle Slab, would be awesome. Then I can buy more resources there as well. Okay, so I'm going to go for the rockets. Uh, 762, all the, all the ammo basically. I should make my own, but it's just way easier sometimes to buy. Okay, so, uh, nope. Goodbye. First use this. This is going to have to be fast. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to go rockets. Do this. Buy all of them. Remember guys, shift click and you can actually buy all of them really fast. But make sure you're holding down shift, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, um... More ammo. Oh, let's go for resources first. We'll go for this. Coal. Electrical parts, why not? We do have a ton of cash, so I, I shouldn't really be too careful. I should be careful not to spend all of it, but not too careful. I can really buy a ton of stuff over here. Gunpowder, more coal. I think we do have a ton of nitrate at the base. I hope I don't accidentally buy... You know, I should actually buy one stack of forged iron because we will need that later. Uh, come on, come on. I keep forgetting I don't have to double click. All I have to do is hold shift and then click once. Nitrate powder, thank you. And... Ooh, we're full at the moment. Okay, we're going to eat that one then. If I can. I just want to check over here. Rockets. We can drop the cans. Okay, You're let's go. Welcome. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know I just left that door open. That's dangerous for her. But we need to get to the other Caitlyn before this runs out. I have 53 seconds left. And I need to jump off my bike and drink it again. Let me just quickly do this. Yeah, it's on my bike over here. So at 46 seconds, I need to drink this again. So that I can actually uh, extend the effect. Man, look at all these bears and behemoths and demonic zombies just walking around all over. But you guys, I just need to make sure we drink this. So I might just really have to run now. 
Because remember, we need to run and uh, stay away from the zombies while I drink this. And then we can get to the next Caitlyn. Imagine I accidentally forgot to unpause just now. That would suck. Okay, I need to turn left. 16 seconds left. I'm just going to drink it right here. Drink it. Uh, mark this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It almost feels like I just missed it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this away, the drive. Hopefully I can make it before it runs out again. It says 59 minute good drink, but it is still active. It's going to be active in my player menu. Okay, see you guys there. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't have time to deal with this zombie. Resources, resources, resources. Thank you. Oh no, Thank my inventory is full. Oh no. No, 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 no. My, my inventory is completely full. Completely forgot about this. Uh, okay, we'll drop all the titanium for now. That should make enough space. And my drink just ran out, I think. This kind of sucks. Crouch. Damn it. Okay, so I lost the drink. Damn. I forgot my inventory is full. I should have dropped it at the other trader. I'm still going to buy all the resources we need over here because we do need all this stuff. That we definitely need. Thank you. Wait, wait what are you? Okay. At least she didn't vomit us through the gate and hit the trader as well because then the trader wouldn't deal with us. I'm a rounds. 9mm, 9mm, 762, 762, rockets. 9 mil, 9 mil. The more armor piercing rounds we have, the better for our SMG. I'm gonna buy a stack of this. Oh, a drink definitely ran out because you'll see my stuff's falling way, way faster right now. And a 62k instead of... It's supposed to be about 38 or something if you have the Grandpa's Awesome Source active. Damn, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna get a solar bank just in case we need it later on. And then from that, I think that's it for now. I don't really want to use up all my cash because you might be able to use it later. Okay. You're welcome. Nice. Now we have a ton of resources. We have a ton of stuff we can smelt. I just need to get my auger and mine some clay at the base. Because we just don't have clay at the moment. We have everything except clay. And as soon as we have clay, we'll be so set. It's going to be awesome. We just keep going straight. I, I'm actually saving a ton of time by cutting out the driving. Um, also, guys, I do apologize for how fast I was just talking. Sometimes when I have a ton of stuff to do in a limited amount of time, uh, my brain just goes overdrive and my mouth can barely hold up or keep up with what I'm saying. But now it should be all good because we are in the safe area of here. I'm just going to cut away and then at the base, we are ready for this horde. Um, the, like the horde base is ready. Remember, guys, this time we don't have blade traps and stuff helping us. Um, it, it might be a boring horde next episode, or it might not. It all depends on how many demons we get and behemoths, and how many of them actually make it over. What I actually want to do is place as many barbed fences and, as I can to slow them down even more. Uh, for when they actually make it over, but then there's less chance of them actually... Oh, wow. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, when you put do down barbed fences and spikes and stuff, you stand a chance of the zombies not being able to pass easily. So, I don't want to use spikes, I'm just going to use barbed fences, and hopefully they run through that to get to me. But if I put it on that last bit of uh, platform that they need to walk over, the barbed fences might catch the corpses as they're falling. And that's going to be the worst case scenario. Okay, so we need to go... Over there. Yeah, 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 I see you. And I can just quickly climb off. As soon as I see my bike's going to get stuck, I'm just going to climb off and quickly annihilate this bird. But look at this, as long as we don't hit anything... We can outrun most birds. Even the radiator ones in the, in the wasteland, when I turn uh, on the turbo and I really move, they can't really hit me. Although this one's doing a bang-up job of hitting me every single time. Hey, hey. I just hate it when they do that. Oh, another one. I hate it when they jump up and down like that. You are a bandit. Oh. What did you drop? Nice. Oh, just normal shades. But it's reload. It's reload speed, but we don't really need it. Damn, I really hope that would be the McStensos or whatever it's called. Uh, goggles. Glasses. If we have those shades, then looting bonus is going to be insane. Yes, yeah, so you guys at the base. It's actually weird. Usually I record two episodes at a time to fit the same day. Uh, but for example, this is going to release on Saturday 2am. The next one Saturday 2pm. So usually I'd record that episode now as well. But, since I, like I said, I'm only going to record that episode on Saturday to make sure I give enough chance for people to sub and get ready for that competition. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, the drink we can put away for now. Our food and water is actually doing really well. I had to eat like four or five potato steaks, and that's actually quite a bit. So that was a little bit of a waste. Okay, and then other resources. You go over there. And look at all that uranium and plutonium. Nice. And then sand and stone goes over here. There was actually quite a bit of st uh, stone and sand there. I'm actually rather surprised. Okay, iron and clay. We do have quite a bit of clay, so I can start with the titanium. And then I'm going to have to go mine for even more. That over there. This doesn't go there. Ammo pots. Yes. Okay, so these must go in the box down below with a ward. I need to keep all this stuff on me. Technically, the 9 mil ammo is for looting, for clearing places. Oh, now that I see the shotgun ammo. Some of you said that I really mu I must try out this shotgun. And I definitely will. I just want to first make sure we face this horde and then I can see if I can mod this and how this works. Um, hopefully it's better than a quill rifle. It's supposed to be like a special tier rifle. So let's hope that's the case. Okay, concrete mix. I'm just going to put in here for now. See guys, we have so much concrete mix right now, we should not run out. Shouldn't be the word. Um, we might run out, who knows? <laughs> it all depends on luck as well. Okay, cash goes over there. We still have quite a bit of cash left. Like 50, 57,000. Nice. It's not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to put this in over here. And then... Two, two, two. I wonder if I shouldn't take that out. Let's just put all the concrete mix in the same box. So it's easier to know where, what's where. And then parts go over here. I just realized this is on me. Okay. We should be ready for this horde. Um, I just want to drop all this ammo in the loot box over there. Or in the horde box. And then make sure all our guns are there as well. We want to make sure that we are properly ready for this horde. We, we have a quill rifle over here. That's for repairs. Um, our sniper at the moment is not doing too great. But I mean the quality is going down so low. It doesn't really make sense repairing it right now. Or at this very moment. This might come in handy. And then ammo. During the horde. I don't know if we're going to use explosives. We will have rocket ammo this time. Crossbow. I wonder if I shouldn't take the crossbow with just in case. If we run out of ammo, then at least we do have that one more weapon that we can use. That one should be able to hold all the ammo and not just titanium ammo, I hope. It, it will suck if it can't. That's going to really, really suck. Okay, so antibiotics. We need healing kits. Ooh, only have one. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, and then food and water. I need to be able to fill up on food really fast. So we're going to take these with us. And then basically a ton of water because we need to be able... As soon as there's too much damage to us done with, like, fire, we need to then go and put that out with, uh, or rather, we just need to refill our water with this. So we put the fire out with this, replenish our water with these. I really thought I had some XP elixirs and stuff here as well. Unless I put it in a different chest without realizing it. Okay, uh, wait, before we go down, just gonna make a ton of titanium blocks. Whoa, what was that lag spike just now? Oh, it's still all in the bike, so I have to go down anyways. All the titanium's still down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I felt that lag. Okay, but then if he's there... Any demons? There's supposed to be demons, and since they're so really fast... I need to watch out for flying demons in the incubi. One shot. Come on. Two shots. See, as long as I don't see you, you're still doing bonus damage. Sneak damage. When I see him start to vomit, I need to move. Hello. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's actually the worst always to take down the cops because they heal themselves and go into that stampede mode. And as soon as they go into the stampede mode, they can do some serious damage. I'm just looking above me for some demon. Ooh. For some demons. I just keep feeling like the demon's gonna pop out of somewhere. It's usually not just these demonic zombies. There's some demons, actual like incubi and succubi of here as well. Yeah, this is still part of the Wandering Horde, so they might still be here. They actually went through... Whoa, hello, hello. They went through this library over here, which is bad because there's a ton of demonic behemoths and stuff in there. So we can't afford to hit the place and alert them. You know what, if there's incubi and succubi demons in there, good for you. Just stay in there. But the fact that they stopped over here means they are heading towards my base. Let's just hope those stop short. 
Guys, I don't really have a problem with the succubi demons, the flying ones. But the incubus is just so damn fast. It's basically like the buff behemoth, as fast it is, as is it is. That's how fast it is. I should actually put some titanium blocks in here as well. I'm not liking the fact that that block got destroyed. Zombies are probably registering that I'm standing on that side and doing some damage over there. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Concrete. Ah, uh, no. Titanium over here. We're first going to go for the just the normal block. Like this one over here. 156 divided by... That's about 40 each. Or 39. 39. Craft. I just need to make sure we make as many of these blocks as possible. We actually wasted quite a few of these blocks. Making sure that we can survive this next horde. Um, I really want to use this on my new defense. So using it all over here was a massive, massive waste. See, now we just need way more clay. It was actually the titanium that's... No, it was the clay that ran out. That is awesome. Okay, uh, weapon parts over there. And... You are meds. Oh, you're taking a drink, but it's fine. And then armor. Even this is starting to get full again over here. The uh, armor chest. Remember, guys, I only have one, one level 80 of each armor set. And then the rest we can actually just scrap. We'll keep two of each for repairs, and that's about it. Okay, there are a few coil rounds over here. I did make... Ooh, now that I actually see that. I did actually make a ton of coil ammo. Oh, nice. There's all my other stuff. Phew, before the horde, I need to come just make sure I equip all of this stuff. But this is supposed to be... Just I should just be able to grab this for the horde. Instead of wondering what's where. Yeah, we're going to take the 9 more ammo. I don't know if I should keep the... You know what? I think we should keep the, uh, the SMG on us. Just in case something happens, we know that's there. We do have steel, we do have concrete mix, we do have titanium over here, and we do have the repair tool. We have drinks over here that's going to give us water back and wellness back. We have a ton of rockets and explosives. That's actually very, very good. But, like I said, I did make some quail ammo upstairs for all these quail rifles. Because I have all these quail rifles, but I'm not really using them at the moment. Okay, now I have all the 9 ammo. The... Let me just do this. Oh, come on. No, no, um, do this one, hit this button. I keep forgetting which one's which. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And this one, we're going to do the same again, just see what drops. Repair kit stays, that stays, this stays. That's all for repairs, basically. This one can also go, and then clay technically needs to go upstairs. This goes upstairs, this goes upstairs, okay. So the rest of the stuff is, well, this most is uh, it's just for water, so I'll drop it in there. Food and water is doing fine, so I don't mind, really. And then, yeah, I just need to grab all this stuff. I'm going to dump all this stuff upstairs before the horde. Because I do have a dump chest. And then I'll just grab the stuff uh, in those boxes over there. See, a uh, looting box over here. This is where I drop my stuff. Man, I'd be so mad at myself if I check the recording software right now. And I'm not recording. Okay, so we have a level 61 over here. I, I realized we had one already. I made a level 71 recently. And I then realized, oh wow, we actually have a level 61 uh, as well. Now if I repair this one, it's going to lose level, but we can actually put it with that one. But that just uh, required a ton of repair kits though. It's really expensive to repair. But yeah, the nice thing is we do have a few spares over here. I think that's all we really need. Um, Tempered Blade mod. I think we can actually put this on as well. And this. That should be it. Okay. So modify for now. I'm not going to combine them now. We'll combine them later. Because for now, I just want to get out there. I want to get this stuff done. And by stuff, I mean I just quickly want to get some clay. We are perhaps going to get some zombies right now, but that doesn't matter all that much. If we get a screamer, this is going to make the episode a little bit more interesting. So I need a hill or somewhere I can mine. Where I don't really mind if the zombies come for me over there. Uh, we have to do this one and this one next, right? Then this block's done. So let's go over here. We're going to dig a little bit over there. And then we might just quickly loot these two buildings. Or loot the two buildings, and before the ward, I can quickly get some more titanium. It all depends on how much time I have left. Okay, I'm um, just going to do this. Power tools, drop this. Let's go. I don't want to waste too much time. I don't want to talk you guys' ears off, because I have been talking quite a bit this episode. I just want to... I'm a man of action. <laughs> guys, this ward is going to be really tough. There's no blade traps. Um... Technically, the zombies should also have a tougher time at coming at me. Because of the way I have my base set up now. But yeah, it's, it's mostly titanium, so the, that should hold. But there's no blade traps that's going to help us. Oh, I think it's this one we have to do next. 
Yep, it's this one to the right of me. So we're just going to run through here. We should be able to clear out all these zombies unless there's another the demonic surprise. As you guys know, for this, uh, for the few pure eyes, I've actually just had demonic behemoths drop down on my head. Like, all of a sudden, they're just there. I'm not going to go for the resources. Now that's a dumb thing to do because there might be some awesome resources. But still. Okay, I need to go for the headshots. We have so much of this. You know, I'm going to save that ammo for demonic behemoths. Okay, you're going to come after me. I'm going to vomit down that stairs. Or not. Oh, that's bullshit. That hit there, but I'm still on fire. That's why the big tank bunker is so insane to go through right now. The fact that you're always 24-7 on fire. Okay, you guys have to come after me. I'm not going to keep on going after you. I think we're about 300 or 400. No, less than 400. Away from being able to get the last uh, Marshy class. So we might not even need the Caitlyn Trader. Be careful of all the zombies falling on our heads over here. Food, thank you. If I see food, I'll definitely grab that and some other resources. Okay, I just want to do this as fast as possible. So I'm not interested in going through doors. Hello. As long as you can hit the... What bullshit was that? Oh, it's this one. I thought it was her just now. I was like, how the hell did she set me on light? She didn't see me. And she was falling. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, that would have been awesome. We just need the accessories. We already have the chassis. Two of them. That would have been aw awesome just now if I actually found that last piece. That final missing piece. Oh, wow. I never realized this was... Yeah, just for a moment, they saw... Uh, I thought it might be like a bag or something. It's an extra special room. Nice. See, there's loads of these rooms actually scattered throughout your eyes, but you never bother checking. Okay, so... I think we can go up top of here as well. And fall into the roof of here. Sometimes there's zombies up here, sometimes not. I think we just got the last zombie, though. Okay, see, these PRIs really aren't that bad to get through. You just quickly need a little bit of time to be able to just jump up. Okay, we would have gone through here and then into the roof. Let's see, it's easy enough. We just don't we don't have time to go for the resources right now, guys. Since it is horde day, we don't want to waste any time. Okay, so uh next one is this one over here, then this block is done. Can't you remember Oh, now I remember the shack stack. I wanna say for a moment, I can't remember doing that PR. Ooh. Oh, I remember saying I want to do this one. This one might be... I think there's going to be a ton of demonic behemoths over here. I think last time I actually killed the zombie standing or sleeping out here. But that was about it. I didn't go inside. I think inside... Guys, this is going to be the tough eye for the day. This will definitely have a demonic behemoth in there. Let's see how well I know this game. This should technically... Oh, this is all that demons. Where are you guys breaking out though? If I can help you... Can I jump through here? Yeah, I want to go for your balls because I can't see your heads. And I love this gun. I really, truly love this gun. Actually, a fire all over, so we need to be careful. Not to draw too much attention to ourselves. Come on. Oh... Did you have to reload at that second? I would have been able to kill... Uh, I don't think he's dead. Let's see. Is he going to stand up? Okay, there's a ton of fire over here. So I don't know which ones of these are actually demons. Unfortunately, when you zoom in with this thing, it doesn't show you which one was which. So I think that was just... The first one we killed was just a normal utility worker. Oh. Hello. Remember guys, sometimes the zombies are bugged. Um, they look like they don't have fire, but they are demonic zombies. So just be careful. You think, oh, it's just a normal zombie. It's not, it doesn't have fire. And all of a sudden you get a rocket to the face. Okay, this place so far is definitely full of interesting... Come on, come on, come on. I'm actually surprised when I uh, find a pure eye that has so many radiators and stuff. 
Instead of just demonic zombies. Just... Oh, he just gave me a fright. Remember that I uh, forgot that he was part... That, that he was the zombie I just killed. The dog I just killed. Wait, did they break out of there trying to get to me? And now I still have to go upstairs. What the hell? I, I knew something was behind me. I tried walking backwards, but I couldn't. That was annoying just now. I tried backing up and then all of a sudden a zombie hit me because something was behind me. I think she was inside this bathroom over here. It was this room. It hasn't woken up yet. The fact that we can kill dire wolves one shot proves how powerful we've gotten and how powerful this gun is. Guys, okay, stand still. Thank you. See, some of these zombies, even though they just radiated, they take quite a few of these shots. And then you get some demonic zombies that take way more shots. Or way less shots. So some of the, uh, the weak zombies are actually very, very tough, if you think about it. I can be so glad we make so little noise. That dog just saw me. Ho oh. ho ho. Oh, there's a safe back here. Hello. Okay, so we still have to do the top floors quickly. Guys, it is getting late, so we can't afford to waste too much time right now. Basically, what I really, really need is the clay. But I really want to see if we can just clear the PRI first. Then at least we have another block done. How many of those are there going to be here? Okay, spiders, wolves. Oh no, a, s a snake just bit me. Am I gonna have to do the... Am I gonna have to make myself some eating stuff now before the horde? That would suck. I'm surprised at the amount of weak zombies in there. Okay, there's a ton of, uh, ton of weak zombies, but still weak. You'd think there'd be way, way, way more tough zombies in here. But it's, it's a ton of just weak zombies. Which actually also, it can overwhelm you, so you need to be careful. It's not something to scoff at. But still, it feels like, oh wow, really? Oh, okay. Turn the lights off, just in case. As if we see a red foot or something, we need to run up. There you go. Okay, so let's just make a hole over here somewhere. We need to be able to get away. As you saw last time, these zombies can be really fast if you're not careful. Just a cop, okay. There's a loot bag over there. Okay, did he just wake up? It would be awesome if he didn't wake up just now. If that other behemoth didn't wake up just now, I'll be able to kill him easier. I want to also break the safe before he gets to me. Is that going to be possible? Is he going to perhaps get into this room so fast I might not have a time? Okay, now the tough one's going to be this one. See, as soon as I have a laser, a, a laser rifle or something like that, this is going to be way easier. Now, having to damage this guy, I'm going to have to run away to do it. It's almost Horde Knight. We can't afford to take too many of these guys on. Okay, this thing's almost broken. Let's just see where he's going to pop out. Are you going to break through there? Yep. Reload, reload, reload. Are you fast like your friends? No, he's slower. I wonder if it was just because it was nighttime that they were faster like that. Because this one's very slow compared to the other two you faced. Thank you. And we leveled up. Nice. Okay, so now we just have to go through a block quickly. Let's just make a little hole. Okay, so hopefully that was the only one. You need to be careful, there might be more than one. Okay, those were the last ones, nice. You guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm just quickly gonna mine some clay out here. I'm just gonna go into the hills because I don't wanna do that in town over here. I'm quickly gonna just for like an in-game hour, just mine quickly. Um, as you guys know, with this auger, I just want to show you guys this. It's really, really fast. I think it's like one shot per block, right? 
Yes. So we're going to get a ton of clay really, really fast quickly in the hills over here. And then I'm going to go back to the base. And hopefully, the, like I said, the next episode can be starting with the giveaway. So yeah, and guys, remember, if I haven't reached 2k yet by the end of this... Well, be, be, when this episode goes live, if I'm not at 2k yet and you want to subscribe for the competition, please do so. Remember, subscribe, just comment 7 days to die um, in the comment section, and then that enters you into the competition. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for all this content. See you guys during the day 84, hopefully, giveaway.